James Tano here. I'm excited today to talk to you about something I've been looking for for a year. And that's called the Pink Mini. It's a jellyfish that can get huge. I mean, tentacles to 70 feet long. The thing can be 50 pounds. This is a baby. And it's because they start, this is about the time when you start seeing them show up because they feed on moon jellies. And so, um, that, and, and if there's no moon jellies, they die off real quick. If the water gets cold, they die off real quick. Uh, so, so to be able to see them is pretty rare. The reason they're called pink meanies, as you can see here, they're very pink uh, in color and uh, pretty wild. I'll, I'll put some close-up photos there for you to see. Their scientific name is kind of hard to pronounce, but it's uh, Drymonina larsoni. And they were first observed in the Gulf uh, back in 2000. So they've been around a while. And, and so maybe you've seen them. Uh, this is, I, I've seen them before, but it wasn't it, I didn't have my camera. So um, today I've got my camera, so I thought I'd talk to you about it. In 2011, they were actually identified as a new species. So the, it's uh, fairly new. And that's what I love about science. It's like, you know, there's still new species to be found out there. These can be found in the Gulf, in the Mediterranean, uh, South Africa. Now, so I mentioned that these feed on uh, other jellyfish, uh, specifically, you know, the moon jellyfish, especially here. Whenever we have a lot of moon jellyfish, uh, these will show up and we can find some really big ones. You know, the moon jellies, you can see thousands of them at a time. And then all of a sudden they're gone. Uh, it's the same thing with these. So when the moon jellies are there, these are eating on them. And then once the moon jellies are gone, you're not gonna find them anymore. Now the sting is pretty mild. You know, I got my fingers all in here and uh, you can see all the uh, tentacles and oral arms and everything hanging off of here. Uh, it's not too bad, but if you are sensitive to stings and stuff like that, uh, you can use vinegar uh, to try to remove um, some of the tentacles off of you and, and remove some of the sting. Um, now, you're like, oh, do people eat these things? It looks so delicious. It looks like cotton candy. No, you can't eat these things. Uh, this is one of the jellyfish that people aren't eating. Now, whenever these things wash up, they're like the other jellyfish. You know, they start, they're made mainly of water. So they start evaporating very quickly. Uh, crabs and birds uh, feed on them. And so, you know, once they wash up, if you don't see it, uh, you know, pretty soon after it washes up, you're probably not even gonna recognize it uh, because it starts losing its color and uh, pieces of it as organisms start eating on it. Okay, so my fingers are actually starting to uh, tingle a little bit now. So this thing is probably a two uh, for me out of, out of 10. So not too bad. But okay, uh, that's it for this episode of Beach Coming. I'm gonna go let this sucker go so it can live another day. Uh, we'll talk to you on the next one. Bye.